As I said at the end of the previous video, this strategy is very similar to the one before. The plus nine facts we handle with the near 10 strategy. Now we're looking at plus eight facts. So here's our first example, seven plus eight. Again, we can use a double 10 frame. Again, we're going to put the eight on the left hand side. And we'll ask the students if we're just using the materials to visualize what the answer will be. How many spare spaces are there here? There are two, what would happen if we move two of these? They should see that this number here is going to be two less than it is at the moment because these two counters will move up to there. So instead of seven, this would be five and that would have the answer 15. The other way of approaching this is to say, well, suppose it was seven plus 10, the answer would be 17. And again, that's a place value question. 10 and seven is 17. But if we're not adding 10, but we're adding 8, then this would be 2 less. So instead of 17, it would be 15. Pretty straightforward. Um, let's look at the number line, the open number line. Again, we'll start with 8. Let's do 8 plus 4 for argument's sake. We're going to do a hop of 2 to start with because that takes us up to the 10. How many more are there if we're going to hop four? Um, of course, it's another two. So there's another two. The answer will be 12. We can do another hop in there, which I haven't got room for, to show the plus four. So again, this works in both directions, something plus eight or eight plus something else. Think of adding 10, compensate by two. So take two away from the answer you'd get if you had 10. That sort of thing we'll use the open number line, starting with a hop of two to get to 10, and then whatever's left over is above the 10. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the last sweep for this module, sweep number eight.